Well, back in April, we told you about Jimmy Wilgus. He's in prison in Russia. The American musician has been held since 2016. He is the, he's in the same prison as retired U.S. Marine Paul Whelan. Right now, you're watching clips from our April show. And on November 7, 2016, Jimmy was living in Moscow with his Russian wife. He was arrested on the sidewalk and accused of indecent exposure. He was forced into signing a statement in Russian, despite not being able to read Russian. He was told that if he signed the statement, he could go home. He wanted to go home. He signed it. Well, it turns out that statement he signed was a confession. Next, Jimmy was sent to trial, a trial held behind closed doors. Neither Jimmy's wife nor a U.S. Embassy representative was allowed inside to observe the trial. As for a lawyer, the state assigned Jimmy a Russian defense lawyer. Russia did not allow Jimmy to pick his own lawyer. Jimmy was found guilty. He was sentenced to 12 and a half years in his Russian prison. Now, having served almost seven years and with six more years left, Jimmy suffers from multiple medical problems. His liver is failing, he has spinal issues, and he had a stroke. Jimmy and his family say none of his medical problems are receiving proper treatment. Now, I've been in contact with Jimmy in Russia and also in contact with his family here in the United States. His situation is growing more and more desperate with every passing day. This morning, Jimmy called me, as he often does, from his prison in Russia. It's a remote labor camp, EYEK-17 in Mordovia, Russia. In this prison, he works more than 40 hours a week in a factory making clothes. How much does he earn? One to two dollars each month. And if, if what you're about to hear is a clip of this morning's call from Jimmy in prison in Russia to me. Jimmy asked me to play this for you. Here it is. And Jimmy, you are 100% certain that you want me to put this on the air? 100%. 100%. What I'm about to say, I, I would very much would like you to put on the air. This is about the, the American government, how they ignore us here. Americans watched the events closely in Russia this past week. Imagine what it's like on the ground. Imagine what it's like to be me, an American in Russia, tricked into signing a confession, tried behind closed doors, denied basic rights, and imprisoned with failing health, unattended. How can someone be rightfully detained when there's no justice? Detained, yes. Rightfully, no. I am unfairly imprisoned. I am wrongfully detained. What Russia does to Americans should not be tolerated by my government. Unless those of us imprisoned are classified wrongfully detained, the United States government does little to nothing for us. Americans should be offended that a foreign government can imprison their fellow Americans with impunity. I call on President Biden to designate me wrongfully detained and bring me home. The President of the United States is referred to as the most powerful person on earth. Well, prove it. Put that power to work on behalf of all Americans still detained in Russian prisons. Words are no comfort to people denied freedom. We want 